In the city of Vallejo, there are big plans for redeveloping the Old Navy property finally on Mare Island. But residents say the public is being left out and shut out from any recreational activities on the island. KPX 5's John Ramos has that story. When the Navy turned Mare Island over to the city of Vallejo, it was seen as a huge economic opportunity for the people. Well, the opportunity still exists, but lately the people haven't felt very welcome there. Residents met today to discuss strategy for restoring public access to the island. Those who use the area for recreation say almost everything has been shut down. First to go was the golf course in 2019. Since then, the nature preserve has had its hours cut back, the indoor sports complex has been shut down, and the historic brick building of the Mare Island Museum has been closed permanently. Even the preserve's visitor center, a concrete building that used to store bombs, has been shut down as an earthquake risk. Myrna Hayes, president of the Mare Island Heritage Trust, thinks it all dates back to the naming of a master developer, currently a company called the Nimitz Group. They wanted their culture to be overlaid onto these properties. And that's really the rub right here. We had this established uh, culture in this community on this island. Hayes thinks the developer is systematically removing all the old amenities as a way to clear the field for a wide-ranging project that could take decades to complete. What do we do in the meantime? We do what we had been doing. Why were we all shut down all at once? No one from the Nimitz Group or the city was available to go on camera today, but they say COVID played a part in the closures and that the buildings were examined as part of their due diligence when they took over the project. They say there is no intention of shutting the public out and promise there will be plenty of new recreational opportunities in the future. But many of the old facilities were run and supported by community members and some are feeling burned by the process. They're always talking about what they're going to do for Mare Island and Vallejo. And they never really acknowledge the existing culture and the people who have been keeping the lights on for the past 15 years. The city and developer are in agreement that the way forward should be to start fresh and build a shiny new Mare Island. But there are those who treasure the organic feel of what they used to have. Uh, before three years ago, People felt that they owned Mare Island, that once the Navy was gone, they'd take ownership. And now they don't feel like they own any portion of Mare Island. And that's the way people feel. At Mare Island, John Ramos, KPIX 5. A lot of history out there. The city says there may be portions of the development that will take decades to finish, but they say some of the new amenities could be in place by next year.